Hello, Magnum Man 2010 back again. You know, I've been having a lot of trouble with these little rotors that I've been making or trying to make, I should say, uh, for the pulse motors. Uh, I think I've come up with a solution finally. I've always had a lot of problem getting that uh, shaft right in the center and getting them balanced properly. And uh, what I've done here is I've, I go to uh, the dollar store and pick up these three of these little bottles for a dollar and I take the caps off of them. And what I've figured out is I take a little block of wood like this. Hopefully you can see that all right. And I drill a hole in it in my drill press so I know it's straight up and down. So a needle will slide through the hole kind of snugly. And then I take a, a compass and uh, I'll show you that. This guy right here. I take it and I measure the cap very carefully and then I do uh, put the point of the compass in the uh, center of the hole I drilled and I go ahead and swing out the circle and the circle then it turns out to be the same size as the cap. What I do next is I take the cap and I place it right on top of the circle very very carefully and I hold it there firmly with two hands <laughs> and then I simply press the needle through holding the cap very firmly in the center of the circle. That it puts my uh, needle right dead in the center of the cap. And then I take and uh, let me pull this needle out of here. I take the cap and I lay it on top. I do a layout on top of it very, very carefully. So this is perfectly square. These lines here are perfectly square. Then I lay the cap on top and I line it up like so. I stick the needle through to hold it there fairly firmly. I just take a marking pencil and I mark up the sides on each uh, with the lines lining up with it. That gives me a location for the magnets. Okay. Then the next thing I do is I take a little hot glue gun and I put a little gob of glue on there. And I have my magnets all laying out with the north side up and I put a piece of uh, scotch tape double backed on my finger. I put the glue on and I pick up the magnet with the uh, scotch tape on my finger and I go ahead and press it on there. And I do that as carefully as I can lining it up with that mark and uh, putting them about the same distance from the top down. I do all four of them like that anyway. Being careful not to get that hot glue on your fingers. <laughs> and anyway, I, I, what I did uh, yesterday is I wound one up and uh, that son of a gun got up really fast. I mean it was up over 7,000 RPM. And guess what? The magnets uh, came off. <laughs> I had them doubled up on there, so they were just magnets sticking to each other, and uh, a couple of them really went flying. And uh, I haven't found them yet. <laughs> and anyway, so I decided that I'll go ahead and cut a little strip of uh, masking tape and put around the uh, OD of it, so it can't come flying off quite so easy. <laughs> anyway, this little block of wood here. And my little layout on the top uh, allows me to uh, make a little rotor out of this little bubble uh, blower bottle, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> cap. And you get three of them for a buck, that's a pretty good deal. And the kids, I give the rest of the way to the kids. I found out that if you take the cap off, uh, the uh, aluminum foil on the can stays right intact. The little bubble blower thing is in there. And, kids can have it have a good time with it and I got the caps that I wanted to make my rotor out of anyway I'll go on here uh, a little bit what I did uh, I was on mine the other day and I lit lit motor lit motor came out with this uh, little thing here he calls a simple capacitor pulse motor and I had to build one of them right away of course like I do with almost all of this stuff <laughs> And it is so, 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 so very simple, you know. Hopefully you can see that uh, diagram all right. And if you can't, uh, go, go to Lit Motor's channel and, and look up the simple capacitor pulse motor. And uh, there it is, and he builds it and does an excellent job of explaining how to do it. Well, anyway, I replicated it pretty much, and here it is. There's the uh, read switch right there. There's a little LED, and uh, really that's all there is to it. The little coil I wound on a sewing machine bobbin. These bobbins, I, I think you can pick these up at Walmart. I mean, they were two, three bucks. 
now 30 gauge wire or heavier even because this isn't 30 I don't know what this is probably 28 or something I don't know it's a little heavier and I even tried one with aluminum wire on that worked good too <laughs> Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fire this one up and show you how great that little rotor is working. I'm going to set up a little radio here so you can hear it. And right over here I got the magnet or the battery setting. Right there. Oops, there she goes. How fast do you think that's going? I know, I, I put the meter on a little while ago and it was going about 4,500, 4,500 RPM. And it's really cranking out. And hopefully, I'm going to turn this off. Hopefully you can see the, uh, how great that little rotor is running. Using the method I used to build it with. Anyway, I'm going to pull the battery loose from it. I'm going to just let it coast for a while. So you can see how nice and smooth it runs. It really runs great. Next we'll talk about the suspension a little bit. Uh, I have one over here in the window. It's running off of a little uh, one of them hula dancer things. Uh, uh, hula dancer girls, these little things here. I took the circle out of that and it's running it. And I'll pull that one out anyway, and here's another one here, running off another one of uh, lit motor circuits. And it's running off a solar panel right here. And this one here is, is another one of lit motors, uh, pulse motor circuits, self-starting. And it's also running off a solar panel. Anyway, I'm going to just pull this one out and dump that little thing off of there. So I can show you a little bit how I did the uh, bearing assembly on there. If you know it, Notice this, I just put a little screw in there, locked it in with a couple of nuts, I put a couple of nuts in the bottom, locked them together, and stuck a magnet on there, and if you note, that needle is not touching the magnet. Okay, it's, it's fairly close to it, but not touching it. I, so I have no uh, friction from, uh, at all to prevent them turning. Sitting on the bottom, I just got a little bit of a magnet uh, with a piece of double back tape sitting there, holding it there. Yeah. That's it. This is the one the one of the ones that I don't dare crank up I think I just did the other one, the magnets are just stuck on there and they'll come flying off. Anyway, that's the general construction. This one I didn't make with my block. Uh the homemade little uh gadget here that I made for building these things. Uh and it doesn't run nearly as well. But it works pretty good. Anyway, that's the I the idea here was to uh Hang it, don't let it hang on the top. Uh, make sure it's, you know you push down on it so it's sitting on the bottom. And that little guy just floats right there. Put him back over here. And, you know, I'll show you this so you can see it move around there. Just sitting there. I'll take him out of there even once. I see him pretty good, I hope. A little piece of uh, masking tape around it needle uh putting it in through that block it makes it pretty nice and straight up and down on this one i got a couple of little uh magnets stuck to a piece of double back tape i put it back in okay i have another one over here that i'll crank up once quite a same thing same uh same setup except on this one i don't have the screw i just got to space properly so this uh needle right here is not touching the top let me turn this on so you hear it crank up there you go This one goes very, very fast. You can still hear it going up. <laughs> I think that's running around 7,000 RPM per minute. Here we go. Well, anyway, cut him off, get rid of the noise. And let me just take this off flower for a second. There we go. You see a whole picture here. Little gadgets I've been making. I have another one over here. 
that's that's got a ceramic bearing in the bottom of it. It's got an eighth inch tool through the center, and the bearings mounted in the wood itself. And uh, it, it it it'll run about two thousand RPM, maybe. <laughs> these needle ones work much much better. The uh, old ones I built here, they've got that little brass. Uh, let me put this back on flower. They've got that little brass screw in the center. So I center, I, I centered, I cut a center in, a, in each end of the screw and locked it in there. So it's setting on a needle. And it's got a needle on the top to guide it. But anyway, that works good. But these are the best I've made so far. As you can see, I'll, I'll start it up here quick and there she goes. You can see how very, very steady that is. Oh, what's going on? I, I missed the, the magnet here. There we go. You see how very, very steady that is. I don't know if you can hear it without the radio, but it's just whining. Still going up. Yeah, anyway, it's pretty neat. I wanted to share that with you guys out there. I know I struggled really hard to come up with a way to get these to run fairly smooth and with very little friction these little uh, caps and, and all different ones I have bigger ones and smaller ones that I've been playing around with I just thought I want to share that with you you might find that a little handy well, as you can see I'm still having fun playing with my many different little experiments here uh, I sure hope you're having fun too thanks very much for watching